And here this is a wonderful sherry matured single malt whiskey. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have the second Jura here on my cask. It's the 16 years old, it's called the Jura's Own and Jura is the Gaelic word for the inhabitants or the natives of the Isle of Jura. Um, the 16 year old is one of the very few still steadily available single malt whiskies from the islands and uh, well this is something special because in in our days uh, aged whiskey is becoming more and more scarce and well the 16 year old Dura's own I'm happy that is well widely available no quite often available <clears throat> have a look at the card box uh, Jura's own is, is written like this, Jura's own below the 16. Rich and full-bodied with hints of citrus fruit and toffee. Um, I said a lot about the Jura, Isle of Jura distillery or the Jura distillery uh, here in the first introductory video and uh, I will put a playlist here with all the Jura videos in uh, when I'm ready with this. Um, the story. Nurtured for 16 long years, this is the whiskey of choice for the people of Jura. It's a subtle malt, sorry, <coughs> unassuming yet brimming with character qualities often attributed to the Juras themselves. That's probably why the islanders are drawn to it above all others. To honor this special relationship, the symbol of the Juras adorns each and every bottle. This is the symbol of the Juras. Hmm. Some blinking glossy effect here we have. Okay. Um, tastes. Anticing flavors of moist gingerbread and demerara sugar finishing with dark chocolate, glazed oranges, nutmeg, sweet toffee, apple and honey. Oh, what's that? Well, uh, there are ex-bourbon casks and then uh, a finishing in Amor Amoroso and Oloroso sherry casks. So this brings uh, those additional fruits. <clears throat> in this single malt whiskey. Oh, there's a lot of paperwork down here. So I also have a miniature from a set of Jura single malts. And unfortunately, this whiskey is also colored, artificially colored. So we can't tell uh, how much finishing took place. Oh, wonderful, how much finishing took place. There's a lot of finishing in this whiskey, yes. And I remember the old Jura 16 years old in a different way. I had a feeling of earthiness and weird tastes. And here this is a wonderful sherry matured single malt whiskey, which has a, a light aromatic note behind or below. And some spices showing up from the long maturation in oak wood. There's some sea breeze as well. And probably spiciness is too much, it's, it's herbs. 
no flowers, no fruits, but herbs. So the aromatic fruitiness and sweetness from the beginning, from the sherry, gives way more to the cask. Now here we are, I remember very well, and it's, well, a lot of oakiness, some sharpness showing up, no alcoholic sharpness, but spiciness. It's not burning, it's just sharp, and very few citrus. Did they say citrus? With hints of citrus fruit and toffee. And the toffee? There's oakiness, European oak, some coffee, chocolate, and saltiness, some saltiness. But um, it's lacking the, the earthy flavor of wet trees and wet mosses. So this one has a a significant more of finishing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one still shows the old characteristics, but added a lot of fruitiness and sherry taste. And there's still this oakiness and, well, probably this earthiness with a little faint chocolate. Honey, I'm, I'm lacking. No. <laughs> Perhaps if you subtract the sweetness from honey and have the rest of the sweetness, uh, the rest of the honey aromas, Probably they are there, but not the sweetness of the honey. Well, I think this is a really a good one. 16 years and not too expensive, still available. And uh, it's worth a try. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. More bottles are waiting here. Stay tuned and feel free.